Hey guys, welcome to my channel, La La Ri Ri Jury. I'm Renell, and today I decided to do a quick um vlog. Um, today I'll be going to another gym and jewelry show. Um, where they'll be selling um wholesale jewelry and beads and things of that nature. Um, if you guys watched my vlog before, um about a month or two ago they had um a show down here and that was my very first time going so they have another one this weekend it was friday saturday and sunday today is saturday so i will be going there today um like i told you guys i really enjoyed the experience last time um and i'm looking forward to going again today i'm super excited about it um, I'm going to be buying a lot of more beads and different things like that. Um, hopefully they have some, um, new stuff, um, and some spring and summer colors. And also, um, I use some of the things that I brought the last time. So I want to, um, restock on some of those things, but yeah, so that's where I'm about to go. And hopefully I can get some more footage of the whole um ven venue and everything that's in there this time but before i go i just wanted to show you guys this is some bracelets that i just worked on last night um when i'm in bed i love to work on jewelry and i've been doing a lot of bracelets lately So this is some of the bracelets that I made last night. And these are actually some of the beads that I brought um, from the, the trade show last time. So these um, type of solid beads um, in the gold, um, silver... And the rose gold, I'm going to be getting some more of those today. Or oh, that's what I'm going to be looking for today. Some more of these beads because I have used them on some pieces that I've made and, um, and sold and gave out for gifts. So I want to restock on that. And I really love how um, the pieces come out with these type of beads. So yeah, and these bracelets are really pretty. It folds up a little bit um, because of the size of the beads, but it's super, super pretty. And then also the bracelets that I have on right now is from beads that I purchased from the last show and I made some stuff for myself. I just turned it around so you guys can see it a little bit better. And it also matches the color of my nails right now. So yeah, I brought these beads um, at the last show and I made this set for myself. So this is the type of stuff I'm going to be looking for today. And also just some different colors and different things like that. So I'll see you guys once I get there. <laughs>
<laughs> all right you guys so i have made it home and this is all of the bags that you see is all of the items that i purchased um i did go into the show with a budget in mind and i definitely went over well over my budget um i'm not sure right now if i'll do a haul with all of this stuff because it's so much it'll be like the longest haul ever but yeah this is all of the damage that i did of course i couldn't hold this stuff at one time so i had um i brought a sack with me and once my sack would get too full i would go to my car and put um some stuff in my car and go back in okay so i tried to get as much footage as i could get inside but as i would try to film um people would be t talking to me and stuff like that and then also it's just hard to film with holding um with holding beads because after a few um purchases beads are very heavy to hold so um like i said i would um purchase some beads and then go put them in my car and go back in um but just still the process with shopping with beads is it's hard to shop for beads and also film at the same time but um anyhow i did get a lot more footage of the show the um gym and jury show um this time so you guys can see um more so what it looks like um at this show it was more um vendors there this time than the last time when i went on my last vlog so it was a lot um more to look at um it started at 10 o'clock it was 10 to 6. i didn't get there until about one o'clock and i was there until a little bit after six i was there when they were making the announcements that everybody had to get out and i was still um in the middle of shopping at a table um so so yeah, I was um, panicking, trying to hurry up and finish. Um, I really didn't have enough time to shop the way I wanted to shop. Um, it will be tomorrow as well. Um, the Sunday hours are a little bit shorter. I think tomorrow the hours are um, like 12 to five or one to five, one or the other. But I didn't plan on going on tomorrow. I know the last time I went, I did go Saturday and Sunday the last time, but this time I didn't plan on going two days, but, um, but then also this time I brought way more stuff than I brought the last time. I probably brought quadruple the amount of stuff that I brought the last time. And I, what I got last time I got within two days. But some particular items, I knew what I wanted, and I knew that I wanted a lot of those um, particular items. Um, so I was able to get those, but I didn't really get to look at all of the tables because it was more vendors there this time. And I do like to look at every table to see what everybody has. Um, I planned on doing work tomorrow on Sunday, so... I don't know because it's probably going to tempt me so much to go back um, tomorrow as well. But I told myself that I was only going to go today. So I will see if you guys see me go tomorrow, then I couldn't fight the temptations um, on going. But um, right now I don't plan on going. Um, I'll probably just show you guys some of the stuff. But like I said, it's so much. I can't like do a haul, but I might just take some stuff out of the bags so you can see a little bit um what I got. Okay, you guys, so I'm not going to go into great details. Um, I'm just going to run through some of the stuff that I purchased um, just so you guys can see. So they packed um, 
this stuff in just a Ziploc bag. Um, all of these um, beads are semi-precious stones. And they were um, $5. $5 a strand. So once you go to the shows, um, beads have different price points. So um, the vendors are usually... Um, separate the stuff that you're pur purchasing by um, the price points because it makes it easier for them to add up um, the prices because some of them are just um, calculate this by the bags and then at the end add each bag together and some of them are like write the um, the quantities and um, and prices on the little bags that they um, give you. So all of these um, beads right here came up to one twenty five, and because um, I do have a um, a tax ID number, I I did get different prices that um, the general um, the general population would get. Um, I didn't have to pay taxes or anything on any of my purchases. And they did give me a lot of deals on a lot of deals in addition to the deals that they already have. Because um, even if you don't have a tax idea, you're not a business. Um, you're not coming in in there as a um, as a wholesale buyer. The prices are still good anyway. But when they see that you're a wholesale buyer and you're buying a lot, they will cut you some um some deals and then also i wanted to say um i did want to go in to the show this time with um i have like in a rolling bag um that when i do um different events myself i have like a rolling bag where um i put my jewelry in that i'm gonna sell and I meant to bring that with me today so that it would have been easier to hold all of this stuff. But definitely once I go again, um, I'm going to bring my rolling bag because this carrying these beads will like kill your back. And even though I, I would take some stuff to the car, it just was, was still hard and I could have made it much easier. So I will definitely do that the next time so this is some of the beads that i went um to the bead show um looking for in particular so i did get a whole lot of these because this is what i wanted so um these are the larger size um i have it in some other sizes as well but i have it in the gold the rose gold um silver so i got a lot of these um and like i said this is what i was going to the show to restock on these so i got a lot of these and these were um about five dollars a strand and then i also found these nice um chanel inspired um pendants so i got a few of those and I just got one strand of this. And one strand of that. A couple of these rhinestone um, metal beads. And these really nice beads as well. So I also got a lot of charms um charms of pendants the same they're pretty much the same thing but anyhow i got a lot of these and they did have a um a special on the charms if you got um the charms and pendants if you got 10 bags it was um 10 bags for $35. And other than that, it was um 
six dollars um a bag so i got all of these okay so all of this stuff came from one vendor and at this particular vendor it was um if you get 10 bags of charms it was for 35 dollars so the other price i said for the other ones wasn't correct um this one it was 10 10 bags of charms for 35 dollars and that is a really good deal um depending on what type of pendant or charms it is um it's more in some bags than others but that is really a good deal so i got all of those and then i got these spacers which i had already purchased these spacers um and then later on went to another table and found these spaces for much cheaper um, I found some more spaces at another table for like a bag that was about this same size or a little bit smaller, but it was, it was only $5 a bag. And I think I paid about 10 for this one. Well, it has 18 on it. I don't think I actually paid 18 for it, but, um, I ended up finding this for cheaper. So that kind of sucked. But I didn't worry about um, bring it, trying to return it or nothing like that. But that is um, a thing. Sometimes a lot of the vendors have different stuff. Um, excuse the background noise. Um, somebody is outside working on their car or something. But um, anyway, back to what I was saying. A lot of the vendors sell different stuff, but some of them sell similar stuff and that's the only thing that when you go and purchase from table to table um some of them will have better prices than others but that's just that's just how it is so all of these um beads right here was just one dollar a strand um so i got these um because i just have an idea that um when you um sell jewelry it's always um, good to sell stuff that you can sell at low price points so with these being um, one dollar beads um, I have an idea because I actually saw um, at the at the show a lot of the vendors um, would sell like uh, already ready to wear bracelets and stuff like that and they will sell the bracelets for um for two dollars and stuff like that um i don't think i'm going to be selling my bracelets for two dollars um but i do have an idea of taking these one dollar um beads and making it into jewelry pieces that when i do um jewelry shows i can sell for a price point of about five dollars and i will be able to to make pieces out of this and sell it for five dollars because it was only um one dollar um beads in the first place and especially if i do like bracelets i can get a few bracelets out of one strand so that's my idea with that so that's why i got so many of the one dollar um beads And this is my name badge. Um, I found out today I did register this time. So I have my name um, printed on the badge. And it says wholesale buyer. Um, if you're just a regular buyer, then it'll, um, it won't have a wholesale buy buyer on there. But that's how the vendors are able to um, identify you as a wholesale buyer. And it will give you... Um, some discounts um if you are a wholesale buyer and yeah i found out today that um i don't all i have to do is keep this name badge and once i go to the um to the event again i can just walk in and i don't have to register or anything like that and the name of it is um i think that cns events and this is the same company that put on the last um, jury show. And I actually got this little bag um, with this little duster bag um, that 
that um it was inside of i got this for free um because with the vendor i spent um over 500 dollars on a purchase so she did give me this for free so that was um that was a nice gesture okay and this is um some of the purchase of why i got the free little um the free little bag because i brought all of this and some other stuff that i already showed you guys from um from one of the vendors and i'm not going to open all of this but this is some more of those beads that i went um to the show that i already knew that i wanted um these are smaller size so that's 11, 11 strands of those. Um, she was selling these for $5. Um, but because I was a wholesale buyer and because I brought so much, um, she did sell it to me for $4 um, a strand. So I got some of these beads. They were $5 um, a strand. And all of these beads are... Um, my precious um stones these are really pretty as well and also i picked out those in some really pretty colors um as you can see the prices they had 14 and 12 dollars um a strand but she pretty much gave all of them to me for six dollars a strand they were 50% off, but um, some of them she did give me a little bit more than 50% uh, off. And these in here, um, you probably can't see them that well, but this is some lava beads. And they're in some two different sizes. And these, um, I really fell in love with these beads. They are super, super, super pretty. These were on um, Marcus $40 a strand. Um, I did get two of these. And they are also really, really big beads. But the colors on it is really beautiful. Um, I got two strands of these. Um, and she did give me um, both of them for $30, um, $36. And then these are also some more lava beads. Um, she was telling me about um, the lava beads that a lot of people are using them to make bracelets and putting the, um, the essential oils in it. And I have seen that before. So I may um, try to um, do some beads and do the essential oils. I actually have um, essential oils already that I can use with that. And these were a bunch of um one in one in three dollar beads. And these I got for five dollars. And there are some really really pretty beads. The beads bin and bags is not doing it any justice, but I am getting tired. And as I'm going through all of this stuff, I really don't think that I'm going again tomorrow. Because I actually wanted to do some work tonight, but I'm really sleepy after lugging all of these beads all day. I'm getting super sleepy. And I'm realizing that I really brought a whole lot of stuff, so I don't think I'm going again tomorrow. But these are just some crystals. And I got a couple of strands of those. Those are like $2 a strand. These are really nice. So I just got one of those. And then I got two of these. Okay, so this at this show, um, 
a new person was there um it was an african guy and these beads um and pendants are actually from africa and they are african beads so i did purchase this um from um this vendor now um these african beads were very um expensive that's why i didn't buy as much from this person um because they were just they were very expensive um i, I paid well over a hundred dollars just for these um these few items um these beads were um around forty five dollars or so a piece and they he had some really nice stuff but again they were really um expensive um i should have took a picture they had some really um really beautiful beads and a guy told me that the beads was eight hundred dollars and i don't think out of every vendor that was there i i i even saw any um beads for that type of price um because if they did have they did have beads that was a couple of hundred dollars but again they would have like a 60 percent off sale or something like that on them so these beads are very beautiful i love that they are um actually from africa but again they were very um they were very expensive but um really nice beads okay and all of these beads were one dollar beads um really really nice beads um some really nice glass beads um looking on the bag i got a few um strands of beads that was two dollars but uh, for the most part all of these was one dollar um beads um i'm not gonna take them out of the bag but they are really nice and hopefully you guys will see them in some pieces that I make. And these are some more one and two dollar beads. And then I also got some gray seawater pearls. Seawater freshwater pearls. I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. Um and I also got some of these um crystal beaded tassels i got a few of those because so i'll be making some more earrings with those um these are not as full as some that i got the last time when i went but these were also cheaper as well and i got some more um different color crystal beads they literally have these beads in all kind of different colors and each um vendor that sells these beads has um different colors um so these are larger size and i believe i got um those for five dollars a strand and these are some wooden beads and these are some glass crystal beads but it has the nice gold um, detailing on the edges of them. So they're very pretty. So I got, um, this was like a deal. If you got so many, um, you got a deal for it. So um, I got enough to get that deal. But those are really pretty. And then I got some more crystals. And I know with the beads and stuff that I have, you guys will see like a lot of natural tones, a lot of browns and golds and things like that. But that's my, um, the colors that I like. And then I got, move my remote out of the way, but this really nice bead. Um, I paid about $12 for this one, but it's really, really pretty. I may um, make something for myself with this one, but it's really pretty. All right, so I got some 
of all of these beads over here or like one or two dollar beads um i have these beautiful clear beads some more crystals and some more semi-precious beads um these beads are really really pretty I believe I got these for five dollars or so a strand. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they may have been higher, but these are really pretty. Um, and I actually like I'm really bad. All of these different beads have all kind of different names. Um, I just don't. I'm not familiar with all of the names. I it's so many to remember so um if anybody that's watching this video if there's a book out there that will tell you like a book that tells all the different stones um please comment down below um so that i can get that book because i'm just really i know that these are um semi-precious stones but i really don't remember exactly um the name of all of these stones I know different stones like Jasper, um, Tiger's Eyes, stuff like that, but it's just so many to remember. And it really sucks because when I sell stuff, I don't even remember what kind of stones they are. And some people look in, they look for what type of stones um, stuff is when they want to make purchases. So if there is a book or something out there that tells you what um what each stone is, um please comment down below. But moving on, these are some more lava beads. Um I do know what kind of beads these are, but what I liked about these was that they were in some different colors. Um I've have seen these beads in black and gold and silver and stuff like that but i haven't seen it in in these in different colors such as these so um i got some of these um these were either a dollar or two dollars a strand and then i also got some fresh um water pearls and these were a little bit more pricier than the other beads because they are um real pearls but i got some of those and i definitely want to get some um some real pearls um this time because i didn't get that the last time when i went to the show and these are some different crystals that i got now um as i was checking out um and the lady um that was a salesperson at that table was checking me out. She was getting me to buy more stuff. Um, so she sold me these crystals for a dollar um, each. So I got a couple of those. And some of the um, the vendors are really quiet and some of them are like true hustlers that will get you to buy more and more stuff. So I brought these crystals because i was persuaded to get them but they were a really good price and they are really nice all right this was some more five and one dollar beads um that i got these are those beads that um that i went there for um i got this one from a different vendor because this was a color that i didn't get from the um the other vendor that I showed you guys where I had the silver, gold, and um, rose gold ones. This is like a silver, but it's almost black. So I did pick up two strands of those. And then these are just some crystals and different other um, $1 beads. And then I also... Um, this vendor had these um pre-made bracelets and they were um i got all of these bracelets for only twenty dollars um they were 10 for 20. so i just went ahead and picked up some of these um 
um, just because it was a really good price. And I kind of wanted a reminder to keep the idea that I want to um, make some bracelets um, that I can actually make and sell for um, for low price points um, when I do um, events. So I kind of wanted to make to get something just to remind me and it was a really cheap price and I like to wear um jewelry that I make but um but I still um buy jewelry as well. Um I love jewelry so um I went ahead and got these and I can just wear these um just um regular um they're very versatile. You can um wear these um dress up or dress down. Um just throw these on or even um give these as gifts or whatever. Um and then also I can um stack them because I do like to stack up my bracelets. Um so I can make some bracelets of my own and just use these to stack with those. Alright, and these beads right here were they were on a special they were um two dollars a strand but if you bought 10 strands you got two free um so i did um buy the um the 10 strands and i got two free i ended up getting one extra but i just paid the two dollars for that one and these are the spaces that i was telling you guys about so if you compare these, this bag of spaces to the other bag that I showed you guys earlier, um, I paid like ten dollars for those, and these were only five dollars a bag. But I had already bought those before. Well, those those had a hundred in a bag. Um, these don't have a number count on there, so I don't know how much is in these bags. But I still think that this thing was a better deal than the other one. But I had already brought it, so I didn't worry about it. But I did end up finding some more spaces for cheaper. And this was something really cool that I bought as a gift to myself. Um, and it was very inexpensive. Um, the big diamond crystal, it was five bucks. And the little perfume bottles, the glass crystal perfume bottles was only $2 a piece. So I thought that this was really cute. And I brought it for myself. Um, I have to find somewhere to put it, but I just thought that this was just super cute to put up somewhere. So yeah, I brought that for myself. And it did have um some different colors and different other um glass um crystal pieces. All right, you guys. This is the last bag that I have and this was the last vendor that I went to and I also went to them the first time that I went to the show and I really love their stuff and it's really good prices. Um they are based out of they have a showroom in atlanta and it's a husband and wife and they're really really nice um people and i love the items that they sell um i went to their table i didn't have a whole lot of time to look so i hurry up and grabbed um this stuff that i have right here um i wish i had more time to to look at the stuff but um they were making an announcements for um all of the buyers to get out of out of there basically and um the vendors were starting to um pick up their tables and stuff like that. Well, they didn't pick it up because they'll be there tomorrow, but they started putting their um cloths and stuff over their tables. So I had to get out of there so I was able to get these um items quickly quickly get these items but they had these um it's all hooked together so you can't really see them that well but these are some 
metal chains and they have um different beads in the chain so this is really nice and these are only five dollars um each um chain link and they're really long also so i got a bunch of those that was a really good price and then i got some more of the pendants that they sell um like these down here was three dollars but then these ones over here was just five dollars and they are really really nice pendant so that's a really um still a really good price um these two were seven dollars this one was seven dollars and then i was looking at this one and it says that it was made in india so that's pretty um pretty cool but these are really really pretty um i got two of these they were ten dollars each but they are really nice um once i make something out of it um it's gonna look really good because these are really nice and then I also got these. Um, these were a dollar each for these. So yeah, I really love um this vendor. And they gave me their information for their website and all of that stuff. So if I ever um go back to atlanta i would have to check out their showroom and also their website and everything because i really like their stuff a lot all right you guys so that was everything that i purchased um sorry that i didn't go through everything that i purchased one by one but if i would have went through everything one by one this video would literally be five hours long and i know it's probably already gonna be um long as it is um but i hope that you enjoyed um what you saw um i definitely enjoyed the jewelry and gym um trade show um i am not going back tomorrow after going through all of that stuff i've gotten more than enough um it will be back in town in a few months. I believe they said that it'll be, um, they'll do a 4th of July show. So that will probably be in June sometime. They'll be back with another show. So I will go to that one. I will try to go early and maybe prepare to go more than um, one day the next time. Um, because I did spend most of the day just on one side of the, um, of the building. And once I got on the other side, I didn't have that much time left. Um, and I do like to look at every table because it, everybody has different things and also different price points, but I am so tired. I plan on doing some work tonight, but I know that, um, the way that I feel right now, I'm not going to do it. So therefore I have even more work to do tomorrow. So I'm definitely not going back and I got so much stuff. I need to get started on making stuff with all of the stuff that I got today. So yeah, I definitely made my decision that I'm not going tomorrow after going through all of that stuff. But anyway, before I say that for the fifth time, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos um, so you guys can see the items that I'm going to make out of all of these um, beads and charms and pendants and all of that stuff. Um, and thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, guys. 
if you would like to purchase any of my handmade designs please check out my etsy shop and also my store in v-shop and if there's any items that you see on my videos that you don't see on either site please send me an email all links are in the description box